on the win. Um, the first half was a lot, a lot of energy from both sides. It was it was lack of quality. How important was that performance in the second half? Yeah, I felt um, first half a little bit rusty because obviously we haven't had a game in two weeks. Uh, to down our way in Northamptonshire way, and I, I don't know you you're quite up north, small giant, yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah. a big lot of football up over weird over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the the thing we've hardly been able to get on grass um, until Thursday, uh, and with a lot of hours to get on Astro is a, a tough thing to do, and we did that, and I I'll hold my hands up. I I got Danny Hilton on there on Monday, and. Uh, I affected his knee from doing that, but I felt the guys needed to run, and that was that was unfortunate. So I oh, felt pretty bad about that, and because um, we obviously didn't have that option today. So yeah, understandably, and we spoke to him at half time about just play the simple pass, play the simple pass, play. And um, unfortunately, I think we we tried to force a lot in the first half. But look, second half, the boys are really were a lot more confident in what we did, a lot more purposeful. And I think it was just professional second half in the way we we did. That. Yeah, you really controlled the game that second half. There's some lovely stuff as well. And, yeah. and is that what pleases you most when you can when you can raise it in the it, when you can go through a game and you can and you can get that response from your team as well and and come away with three points in a game that you might have only got a point in it on a different day. We, look, it's great that we did it today. Um, and it's great that we can do it as a team. Uh, I think we've been, overall, we've been playing quite well and not just got the rub of the green, have we? And you guys have seen it. And that's been real tough to take. And what you don't want to do is with our fans and how good they've been for us, you don't want to send them home unhappy. And people look at results and go, oh, they're lost. but. The context of the game uh, is it doesn't tell the true story of what's been happening with us. And I think we've still been playing well, and I'm just so pleased for the group uh, today that um, you know uh, John Guthrie's been out, he's come through a full nine. Ali to come through today and, and play like he did and be out for three and a half months. Oh, exceptional performance, and his energy levels were great. Um, but as you can see, we've got still a lot of injuries uh, and you see with my bench today that I had um, Sean who could only come on for limited minutes, Tyler could come on for limited minutes, at least they're coming back, but um, <coughs> unfortunately I've lost Kieran Bowie for at least minimum two months, maybe more. Uh, so um, we're, we're in a tight situation and, uh, at the moment with uh, offensive players, so um, uh, it's a bit of a tough moment going into today's game. Uh, yeah, not to dwell too much on injuries, just, just on the Bowie one, um, well, that's a significant injury. Oh, just innocuous in training and uh, yeah, uh, injured in training, so uh, no one really near him and unfortunately went the wrong way and uh, yeah, it might be, um, we're, we're getting an assess more this week, but the diagnosis could be a minute. He won't be back within eight weeks. Uh, on a more positive note, we, we've had a load of chats in the last three, four weeks where pretty much everything's been there. We've been talking about the, the, the both boxes where mm. you, it's a bit fragile at times defensively mm. and with some chances. Today, defensively excellent, uh, and when those chances came along, you, you took them. It was a strong, <coughs> strong back line we had. Um, uh, and. You know, great to have Ali back on the left, um, AK in a more natural position on the, the right. Uh, obviously, um, I know Aaron was with you on Thursday night in the Cobbler show. I don't know if he told you, but he's out uh, for a, a little period now as well. So, um, but um, that was, a, you know, to, to like we talked, stop put away to miss, um, to miss our captain. It's a huge loss. It's a huge loss, and um, and to have him back today yeah, show how important he is for our team. Yeah, exa exactly that. You talk about John Guthrie, the players coming back, showing their importance, and Sean but Williams. He's such a massive player for you as well. Goal scoring, Sean but Williams. Is it? Although he does pretty much a slide tackle it in, doesn't he, at the, the back post? Mitch had his sea legs on today. I don't <laughs> think he was uh, quite right. And uh, I just play, I, I, I felt we needed some energy. They put K on. He's got super pace down the uh, 
the left hand side here and I felt Sean could play a little bit more tucked in so I had um, basically three midfielders uh, well just tucking Sean in inside the shape a little bit and uh, lo and behold he uh, gambled there in the cross and uh, look Brough's going to clear it and he's, he's tackled him brilliantly and uh, well uh, yeah and they're the things you know you talk about Swindon at home a couple of weeks ago and Mitch goes in and the, the goalkeeper is just the, the uh, scratch off the goalkeeper's studs and it goes wide and we go 1-0 up and then 30 seconds later they go and score 1-1 and we get that goal today so there We've talked for the last two years, fine margins and those types of things. So, look, I feel we deserve that today for, for all our performances in the last few weeks, to be honest, in my opinion. Um, just going back to the, the Kieran Power injuries, mm. um, we've been talking for a month, haven't we, about you, you had some injuries in a couple of weeks, there'll be players coming back probably by, by February, which means you might yep. not have to dip in. Yep. With this news, does that make you more likely to, to go and find a replacement in, in, in the couple of them? You can probably sum it up for yourself without me giving the answer because what, what, who knows in the next couple of days, we've said we don't want to make snap decisions. We've had a few on our radar, but obviously that's, that's for us to talk about and, and get to work. I'd say we, we certainly need some help in that, uh, that department and maybe the, the dynamic will have changed from where we were looking a little uh, earlier in the window. But like I said, this window is, and, and I saw the article that you did with, uh, well, what you put on about Clough, and the landscape has changed, and he's absolutely right. It's, um, and we're not going to be railroaded into uh, doing any silly things. So, um, look, we, we feel with what we've got, um, even with Kieran out, and he's been an absolute superstar for us this season. Um, we feel we've got a strong unit, but we've just got to keep everyone fit. And that's for the next 19 games. <laughs> Just a little bit of luck coming our way where uh, our back line can stay fit and no more injuries really. Touch wood please. And let's not talk about it ever again. <laughs> well, quite. Yeah. Just final two from me. Um, William Hondemark coming in. Uh, first time being able to speak to you about that. A player you've been monitoring for a long time. Uh, look, yeah, uh, yeah, we have. Um, nearly got him last January, but um, just missed last minute and uh, Ever since, been tracking him, watching his performances. Um, Cole's been to see him live several times, and uh, look, he's um, he's uh, at the end of his recovery he, uh, because he, he he took a slight injury. He's been out for um, over a month, and uh, look for him, he'll be. Um, Definitely for the longer term, but huge for the immediate term. But what we've got to do, we've got to get him conditioned right and uh, get him up to speed. And uh, I think this week will be a good week for him. He, he, he got in the grass and uh, got involved on uh, Thursday, Friday. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to, to see Wood play. And just finally, um, back at Sixfield, so again, feels like for the first time in a long time um, next weekend. And, and really tough opposition as well, also, also flying at the moment. Yeah, yeah, they've uh, obviously tough side, uh, three five two, uh, very strong and very direct, um, and you know, make no bones about it. it will be a real tough challenge and uh, a lot of physicality in that game. So, again, we're at home. We want to please our supporters. We're looking forward to it. and We'll throw everything at it. Well done today, John. As much happy.